it going? It's about 8.30 now. It's delayed start Thursday. So, I'm taking Calvin to school. We were waiting by the bus and then he realized that he needed to pee. So, <laughs> he didn't want to have to try to chance it waiting on the bus and not being able to make it to school. So, we just walked back home. He went potty and then here we are. I'm just going to take him to school. No biggie, right? Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Mama's got you. But as we were just driving almost to Spesbach, um, there's a detour through Katzenbach right now, so like we can't go the normal way that we go. But you can see like hills and hills and hills. Like it's not all gloomy. Like it's gray today. It's but not like a gray gray. Yeah. It's like the sky is gray, but it stops at the sky. Like it doesn't go all the way to the ground. Like if you look out that way, you can see gray but some light. Yeah, you can see like the hills and the trees and it just looks really cool. Which is good news because this evening we should probably go, I don't know which way to go. This evening we're supposed to have family pictures and we haven't had family pictures since we were in Okinawa. I don't even know if I was vlogging yet. It's been a while. We have not gotten any family pictures in quite some time. So hopefully weather depending, if it holds out and it's just, if it's gray, that's fine. Um, as long as it's not raining, we will go through with it. So that's my hope, is that it turns out nice. You gonna have a good day at school? Yeah. Yeah, better day, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I believe in you. Love you. So everyone has been wondering what it looks like here. Like what's going on? Is there any cases of it going on with the coronavirus? Currently, there has been no deaths in Germany to my knowledge. I've been trying to educate myself on it before I sounded like an idiot. And there hasn't been any known cases in anyone military or DOD here in this area at all. So these are all good things. The bad thing is yesterday they um, categorized us, they labeled us, they marked us a category three base, which means um, no traveling into Germany, out of Germany or through Germany. That's not for local nationals. This is strictly for military, DOD, US civilians. They just announced on the radio that today they're going to be meeting with all the big wigs, people that make decisions, and deciding on what they're doing with the schools, if they're gonna be closing them, if we're gonna be start doing all the stuff they need to be learning in school online because they're trying to keep the spread at a minimum, which I totally understand. As for the commissary and like grocery shopping, I went yesterday morning and it wasn't too bad. I got some stuff, Travis was like, hey, this is going on. You might want to maybe now get some stuff that would last in the house a little while because they could very well say, you can't leave your house or like no going grocery shopping. They might close the commissary. And yes, there's still all these things off base, but as US military, DOD personnel, whatever, we have to follow what the US says. And if the US says, hey, military that are overseas, you're not allowed to leave your house. We can't then go to the German grocery stores if they stay open. So that's kind of the part where people are panicking because no one knows like what they're gonna decide. And that we will find out later. I very well could know by the time this video posts. And this is out of order, but I kind of just wanted to update because I haven't really, but the commissary was like wiped out yesterday. We stopped by yesterday. We had our family pictures. It turned out so cute. Look at this family one between all of us. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Um, and then we went to dinner on base. We just went to the Macarona Grill because it was cold when we were getting our pictures done. At the end, it started raining. It was really windy. So we're like, you know what? We don't want to make dinner. Let's go get some food. And then we went by the commissary and it was really crazy. Like it felt weird being in the commissary with that little stuff there. It was really nuts. It's a good thing I went this morning. Holy shit. Oh. 
are oh the Asian really? Yeah. really? Yeah. I need water test sets. <laughs> the things are what else need? Um <laughs> ah, this is wild. Look at that. It's all gone. It wasn't like this earlier? No. Everything was fairly stocked earlier. This feels wild. It feels really weird. All the veggies are gone. Now that I'm back home, and I just heard on the radio that they're talking about um, what they're going to do about the schools, I figured I would give a little update as to what's going on. Family back home and friends are wondering, like, what's going on? Everyone here is kind of really just in, like, panic mode. We're literally just waiting to find out what they do. There hasn't been any known cases here yet, which is good. Maybe close everything down so we're not going and picking it up somewhere before it gets spread too much here. I feel like that would be smart. Like, I don't mind. As long as they're not just like stopping school and we have to make it up during the summer, I don't really have a problem at all with, hey, you need to do your work at home and then we'll resume as soon as it's kind of over. So that's kind of the update. I didn't really start this video with the intention of it turning to this, but as things are changing like every day, every hour, um, it's kind of important to, I think, stay on top of it. I've been trying to not listen to the Facebook posts and the crazy that's going on on social media. Oh. And listen more to what the radio is saying and what AFN is saying, what the CDC websites are saying, because that's kind of the more truthful thing. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed. Sorry, we've kind of been absent, but here's the update to the crazy that's been life. So, quick update. As of right now, they have closed all the schools. They've closed pretty much anything that's not work. Most things will still be open on base aside from like schools, CDCs, any kind of like after school or sports or anything like that is all closed. Starting Monday everything is closed so basically today is the last day of school before everything closes and we don't know when everything is going to come back up. I just stopped and got a few more things like some more chicken. I got more toilet paper. There's this huge thing with like people stocking up on toilet paper and I'm not trying to stock up. We just literally only have like two rolls left. So um, I got more toilet paper. I got some like more chicken and more plants at Ikea. I have a problem, but that's what's going on as of right now. Work isn't canceled or anything, but schools have been canceled. Um, they're gonna be doing everything online like I had said. Yeah, I guess we're just kinda gonna, gonna go from here. I didn't know this all of this information yet when I had filmed all of this stuff earlier, but since I'm now heading home, literally on Friday at 2.22, so right before this video posted, you're welcome for the very current update. Um, schools have been canceled, so when Calvin gets out of school in 17 minutes, he won't go back for a while, and I don't know when he will go back, but we'll definitely make sure to keep up on like his reading and writing and math and grammar and all of that good stuff to keep him where he should be school age wise and um, hopefully everything can get figured out. <sighs> Fingers crossed. There still hasn't been any cases on base but like everyone keeps saying in all of their posts and emails and things. It's a precaution. They're trying to keep it from spreading, which I completely understand. So as long as there aren't any in the area and we're not out intermingling with other people and bringing it kind of into our community, hopefully it stays that there isn't any cases in this area. So, fingers crossed, we can keep it that way. And we'll see you guys probably tomorrow. I'm gonna probably post a video both days this weekend. So uh, for now, that is that. We'll see you when we see you. Bye.